Welcome everyone to another edition of Endgame Finance and today I have some exciting news about Rivian. Their VP of Manufacturing, Timo Fallon, just recently posted a video and he's claiming that Rivian has actually hit a 200 per day vehicle production. So this puts them around 70,000 vehicles uh, produced annually. So if they if they are still keeping and hitting that 200 vehicles per day, they will most likely hit 70,000 vehicles produced this year. Now, 70,000 vehicles will put them around six to seven billion dollars in revenues. That will bring them pretty close to actually breaking even on their production lines. They have to hit around 100,000 vehicles to start actually generating cash from the vehicles they are selling. If we compare this to Tesla, we can see Tesla started in 2012. They didn't really reach this production level until 2016 where they produced 84,000 vehicles. And Rivian is going to reach that target within two years of start of production. So these guys are moving fast. They had some setbacks. They had some delays. Uh, about, they had some production delays due to uh, just chip constraints, microchips that go into their vehicles. They could not obtain enough supplies. So they were production limited. But they're expecting to do, like I said, 70,000 vehicles this year. Now, the Rivian VP of manufacturing, he did say they only hit... 200 vehicles produced in one day in the previous year. So they might not be at that rate currently, but they will most likely hit 200 vehicles per day and accelerate that rate as we move on. Now we can see some of the emails that uh, Rivian reservation holders received. Rivian has told him that now they expect uh, deliveries for new reservations to begin towards the end of 2024, which sort of does uh, imply that they are actually hitting 70,000 vehicles this year and will most likely produce around 140 vehicles uh, next year which will clear their backlog which clear their backlog which I believe is currently around 220,000 vehicles this includes Amazon Rivian vans for the use for the deliveries and also R1S and R1T vehicles so if we look at total reservations around 20 uh, 220 thousand vehicles 70,000 this year 140 next year that will basically tap out all the reservations and put them on in, into mass production. Rivian has also announced that they will supply fleet vehicles a lot faster these are vehicles that have absolutely same configurations and that basically also implies that they have reached mass scale production so these guys will uh, like I said probably hit 140,000 units next year and they will start to break even but don't expect their capital losses to just grind to a halt because they are building another factory in Atlanta, Georgia. So that will be very cash in intensive and it will require uh, basically a lot of their cash that's coming in just to go out right away so they can develop that platform for a second vehicle which will be a cheaper version of their SUVs. I believe it's called uh, R. R2 uh, as opposed to the first version being R1 but these guys are basically putting out vehicles currently and they have announced like I said fleet customers for commercial use will be able to get their uh, vehicles within a month after placing an order so about a month two months if you place an order for a hundred R1Ts if they're all configured the same, they will most likely be pushed out and sold to that commercial partner. But shorts have really squeezed the stock. Around 15% of all shares outstanding are currently shorted. So there's extreme heavy pressure, selling pressure on the stock. Shorts are just betting and traders are just taking profits. They're kicking it uh, up and down, up and down and just sort of taking profits by swing trading this stock. However, if you're just cost averaging, if you're just buying a couple of shares each month, I think this could potentially be a good investment. I wouldn't bet the farm on it. I wouldn't bet everything on this. I would just buy a few shares like I am doing right now, just purchasing a few shares each month. And I'm hoping within a year, this company will actually explode. Their revenues are, like I said, growing. If they hit 140,000 uh, vehicles produced next year, their revenues will be close to around $15 billion, which is currently their market cap. So. And they also have around $13 billion in cash as well. So all of these uh, facts just make this uh, stock appealing to buy in, in small pieces right now. Really, really like about this company is they basically have an unlimited van demand. 
Uh, this vehicle is easy to produce, like their vans, their uh, RDV. Cap if they can capture around 20% of the global market, these guys can potentially do around $80 billion annually just by delivering these vans and providing some maintenance as well. The Rivian does have the potential to be a $100 billion revenue company. Of course, they're not there yet. It will take a few years. Uh, hopefully, they will not go bankrupt. They do have a possibility of going bankrupt if they do not actually meet these production numbers of uh, 70,000 units this year and 140 next year. If they're not in that range, they will most likely be bankrupt within two years. But if they actually do deliver, this stock will explode. One thing about uh, CEO RJ, I think he's too conservative. He would rather under-promise than over-promise. Uh, he, he's not a very public guy. He's not really out there promoting the stock. He's not like Elon Musk who's on stage dancing and just hyping up sh shares of Tesla as much as possible, which is bringing in tremendous amount of retail investors. Now, RJ has been just staying quiet, just staying modest and just doing the work, just building out this company ground up. I do think he needs to be a little bit more vocal, a little bit more out there, a little bit more uh, ecstatic like Elon, but these are, just, they just have different personalities. So and vehicles have, they've popped out around lately. I've seen several around me personally. I've seen around three Rivians. They look amazing. And I've seen uh, Tim Cook was spotted driving one. I've seen uh, Jeff Bezos driving one, uh, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. So there's a lot of people that really enjoy driving this vehicle, which, uh, which is a good indicator. And just by seeing how much of a backlog these guys have, you can estimate there's a huge demand for these vehicles. All these guys have to do is make them. They have to keep producing them. And that's been a trouble for these guys. They have not been able to meet these production, these production deadlines. And hopefully that will improve in the future. I can easily see Apple partnering with Rivian at some point in the future as well, uh, allowing them to use one of their production lines to make the Apple car, which has been rumored in the works for some time now, but Apple really doesn't have expertise to manufacture their own vehicle. So I'm expecting a possible Rivian partnership, uh, possibly within a year. I think Apple is still waiting to see if these guys actually build out their infrastructure, their factories, and basically if they deliver on all their promises. I think if that happens, there's a good possibility that Apple will actually uh, make a vehicle with these guys. So that's it guys. Uh, <clears throat> I will post a link down below about the video where their executive does claim that their production rate is, is around 70,000 vehicles. And if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share and have a great day.